Uh, we will stay with uh, Demola Bayonle uh, as we briefly talk about the uh, ministerial nomination process uh, that has been concluded, but three names were left out, and prominent amongst those uh, nominees who were not uh, certified or passed by the Nigerian Senate uh, is former Kaduna State Governor and former Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Malam Nasser El Rufai, uh, who we're hearing may reject his ministerial nominee after this nomination, rather, after the Nigerian Senate failed to confirm his appointment. The Senate said there's a need to conduct further security checks uh, before, you know, his appointment. And reports making the rounds suggest that this hasn't gone down well as expected uh, with Malam Nasser El Rufai, who may, even if it's confirmed, reject his nomination as minister. Um, so very quickly, uh, Ademola, uh, sort of expressed shock that Nasser El Rufai, an ally uh, and one of the staunchest backers of Bola Tidibu, he is a mayor amongst the foundation members of the APC, uh, they've expressed shock that he was among the three ministerial nominees not approved by the Nigerian Senate. Did this come to you as a surprise? Absolutely. Uh, thank you. It's all, it came to me as a surprise, uh, definitely, because uh, uh, Malam has played a very uh, tremendous, a very uh, central role, uh, even in bringing this uh, government to power. Uh, as far back as even negotiating uh, between the North and the South, Malam Esel El Rufai was actually one of the one that, uh, one of the people that uh, made sure that uh, there was a buy-in from the South when uh, Wari was going to be uh, the president, so he, he, he had he had he had kind of like breached the political gap between the north and the south, and then we, we've had our president uh, Bola Tinubu express that at different uh, functions. So he is a cardinal, uh, very important figure, and uh, him being nominated was, was actually not a surprise. But again, uh, you 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 in, you have political enemies as you climb the ladder of politics. Uh, there are people we also know well. Aside political enemy that you might have, we know that uh, Malam El uh, El Rufai has a lot of baggage. We saw during his uh, his uh, screening process that there was actually people raising different concerns about uh, his his nomination. And uh, think about it. The, the, the voice we're hearing from Aso Rock is that there's, there's probably something between himself and uh, uh, Nuru Ribadu, who they both served uh, while he was uh, uh, the FCT minister between 2004 and 2007. Uh, uh, Nuru Ribadu was the EFCC chairman. So there's a lot of games mm. going on there. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of grand standing. So I'm actually. I think I'm surprised, a little bit surprised, why I didn't know it was going to get to this level of okay. confirming. Okay, so this is some sort of surprise to you. Uh, uh, well, the former Kaduna State government, you know, we can describe him as one of the most brilliant and technically qualified nominees uh, um, by President Tinubu, if you look at all of them. Um, now, should the focus be on his credentials, his experience, and his ability to deliver, rather than the petitions that have been you know, written against him? Now, do you agree with those who you know, argue that certain interests around the country are using this opportunity of the nomination of Erufai to settle scores with him. After all, um, it could be argued that there are several presidents out there in the corridors of power, some of whom have been passed um, by the Senate, you know, in the present and in the past, who have petitions written against them, some they have charges against them, and yet the agency, talking about the SSS, did not bat an eyelid. Uh, well, we we this thing's brewing is actually I think there's a potential that is bigger than what we are seeing on the surface. Uh, we we all we all know that El Rufai was in court even up until he won his election in 2015. In fact, uh, his court case was suspended. Uh, there was there was a, um, there was an accusation of him uh, stealing or malappropriating 32 billion uh, from sales of federal government properties uh, way back. At, uh, from 2010 uh, up until 2015, and because of this immunity clause, that case was sus suspended uh, up until he finished as a governor just a couple of months back. So th there's a lot of uh, interest. We also know what is going on in the South Sudan, and uh, South Sudan, uh, in the Southern Kaduna, uh, with the uprising going on, and that's a very big space in Kaduna. Southern Kaduna has about 12 local governments of the 23 uh, local governments in Kaduna. In fact, the, the, the ruling party did not win uh, that part of the uh, state. 
Uh, we also know of, of what happened, uh, the leaked audio. Well, it was not leaked. It was actually in, in our face about how he talked about the Christian Muslim mm -hmm. presence and the dominance mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, the Muslim uh, yeah. set. But, 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 so but, 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 but sorry to interject, but, but you know, the people who have been in, in, in a position to be given government positions, including yeah. ministerial appointments who have had their own baggage, even in the National yeah. Assembly, among the senators, there are people with baggage. Um, but these issues have not been raised by the DSS or the SSS. So would you go with those who are saying this is just a time for some people to settle scores with Aerofy? You remember the proverbial saying um, that, um, you know, join, join us and your sins will be forgiven. You have a lot of them whose sins have been forgiven. One of them is, <laughs> let me not go into detail. So, so yeah. can we say Aerofy's sins have not been forgotten because of some interest somewhere? Uh, there are some scenes that are like third rail. That's what I would say. Uh, it also depends on who you are offending or who you have offended. Uh, so uh, some scenes might, might, might be sidelined. Maybe people who have magnanimous. Uh, look at uh, the case of Bosu who actually apologized to the Senate. And the Senate were like, okay, fine. We forgive you. Uh, we'll move on. You're a young man. There's still more space to learn. Uh, there are people who, of course, we have to, like you, you also said you probably don't want to mention names. But I think uh, El Rufa is a very significant figure. He's a key figure in the political uh, chessboard of Nigeria today. I think uh, people uh, or the security uh, guys might actually want to make him a, a, a scapegoat. And I, I think it's also leading to his side of his ego, uh, saying that even if he's confirmed, he might actually refuse that because he probably feels that a man of his own stature should not be treated in such a way. So definitely, uh, I, I feel that he, he has stepped on some tools that uh, they feel that now they are at the seat of power and they can do um, on, on, or undo. But I don't see this actually lasting, to be sincere. I, I think that uh, once the Senate reconvened later in, in September, I think all nerves will be calm. Uh, Malam El Rufai's figure or position in the Senate, in the, in the cabinet, is more than just what he brings to the table. I think it also signifies uh, some some unity across across Nigeria because of uh, his position in the past. And of course, we cannot say he's not competent or he cannot uh, do the job. So All right. uh, I feel that this will right. blow very quickly in a couple of weeks. Now, uh, you know, the man is close to the president. He's been with the APC from inception. Um, now, despite his closeness to the president, he wasn't included. He wasn't, uh, his name wasn't forwarded to the president on that final list. Uh, do you think that this probably is an indication that the Senate under Godzilla Pabio may not actually be as rubber stamp as Nigerians suspect the, it will? Well, uh, I hope they are not rubber stamp, but uh, we know what happened and the handshaking that went all across during the nomination of uh, Pabio. So, well, I, and he's also part of the ruling party with almost a majority, more than, about majority in the House, I mean the APC members. Uh, like I said, they, they definitely don't want to look like uh, they just want to pass everything. And I don't even think, I don't also think that this issue is coming from the Senate. You, you see, it's probably some security clearance and I, all fingers are pointing towards uh, uh, Nuru Ribadu as somebody who is actually blocking uh, this, uh, this confirmation. So I, I don't think it's really leaning on the Senate of the senators. Uh, we've seen people, senators have really not said anything. The, all the three people that were not confirmed, Dala, the uh, El Rufai, and uh, the woman, they were all based on security clearance. I don't think we've ever seen uh, our senators say that uh, they found something really cogent in the resume or something. Even people who have abused them uh, up to their face, uh, they forgive. So I don't think uh, we should be taking any inferences on the nature of our legislator. If they are rubber stamp or they are indeed doing a very great job from, from this occurrence. Mm. Talking about the security clearance, I mean, we, we've seen Senate presidents in the past um, uh, ha have received petitions against ministerial nominees. I won't go into details because these are allegations anyway. I uh, received petitions against ministerial nominees um, one or two of them, and, and they told them to take a bow. And, and Erufa himself is said to be upset uh, at the role the SSS and the NSA are playing because according to him, uh, the, the SSS or the NSA do not have 
the, um, the power or the responsibility or the right to influence a ministerial nomination process to stop it in its entirety or to prevent someone from becoming minister because of a report. You know, he, he doesn't think they have that institutional uh, 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 responsibility or right to do so. So it, wouldn't you say the Senate could have actually just, you know, cleared, cleared, cleared um, Aero 5 without, without um, yeah, allowing the SSS, you know, influence the process? I think the, the, the senators uh, made us lose out from uh, the rebuttal that Malam Erufai was actually going to give, up, give us uh, when, you know, the senator from Kogi actually brought it forward that there's, there's an allegation or there's a complaint. And he actually wanted to give a response, but unfortunately the Senate uh, killed that and they said they were probably going to go back door and, and review it. So, uh, like I said, there are powers that be in politics, uh, not necessarily the old Senate body. And uh, it's, it's, it's just very obvious. In fact, I was cared for people like Bosu Tijani. I was cared for uh, other people, some other people who have actually played, who have actually demonstrated significant uh, uh, anger towards Nigeria or towards the, the ruling party. But they just told them to take a bow and go. So El Rufai is a very strong figure, like I said. And you want to also make a very strong impression when it comes to this type of figures. Right. Uh, and I, I, like I said, this is the security clearance might be something. You cannot, we can't discountenance the security clearance. We All can't right. say that somebody, because he, he passed or did not pass security clearance, uh, it's not part of the law. If the Senate is saying that we need to look at it, and if someone like uh, Nuri Badu is saying that he is not passing that, or he does not want to uh, uh, tick, tick the box on that, and the Senate goes ahead, I think it's of a bigger consequence. All right. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Adem Alabayonle. It's been a pleasure having you join us on Politics, Politics HQ tonight. Thank you so much. It's, All right. Uh, Adem Alabayonle, political analyst. He joined us live from Massachusetts in the United States of America. We will go on the short break. When we return, it's um, sit at home or no sit at home. Simon Ekpa versus Namdi Kano. Who will take the day? We'll be right back. Stay with us.